pretty. Hello? Oh, hi. I, yep, I was pretty sure that the naked lady. Do not disturb. Shoo, shoo. Mm -hmm. It's the right flower. Of course it is. A Koviri orchid lends just the right contrast to her complexion. Need to talk to your model. It'll only take a minute. To me? Lie still. You may speak, but for love's sake, do not move. Wow. Impressive portrait. I know the style, the stroke. This is Dorian Villes. The gracious lady has heard of me. I... I've heard... Anna Henrietta herself wished you to paint her portrait once. Ah, at one point, the palace chamberlain even wrote to me, but, alas, ultimately refused my terms. What was the matter? When he learned I only ever paint nudes, he suffered all contact. He said he would not dare offend her ah, oh, interesting. with such a proposition. I've always longed to paint her. Such a shame. I think you may still get your chance. <laughs> she probably wouldn't mind in the least. We came here to meet you, specifically. To meet me? But why? Wow, those Sintry are lovingly Noble rendered we nipples. Came here with. Wanted to ask you about him. Sintry and Noble. Ah, you must think I'm Cecilia. Orchid uh, confused me. I told you not to move! As she concluded her performance, Cecilia tossed the flower into the crowd. I caught it, but I did see the nobleman. Really like to talk to him. What did he look like? Like many here. Tall, dark, masked. Not helpful. Know where he might be now? He gave Cecilia a small gift. A heart-shaped box. Then they strolled off together towards the refreshment tables. Excuse me, madame. Monsieur, I cannot work like this. You must leave now. People, am I right? Use my witcher senses to search the refreshment table. Okay. We'll use my highly refined witcher senses to search the refreshment table. Hey, she's got a parasol stuck in her dress, too. It is all the new style. Ah, uh, she, too! Oh, my goodness. Hmm? I saw that over there. I saw it. Oh, it's modern art. I actually like them. Interesting. She's a uh, not a very rich painter, it looks like. Interesting. Great, great. Love letter. Love letter penned on a napkin. Look. Oh my amour, my sunbeam flickering across the firmament of my life. So that was not what we were looking for. Oh. We must throw off the map. Someone left their loot behind. Looks a little like dandelions. This was scratched. Someone ate it twice. Yep. He deserved it. Empty heart-shaped box. Cecilia must have left it behind. It looks like it held the flask of perfume. A gift from the Sintry and her magic. Sense to in the air. Let's follow it. Oh. More scent trails. You would not believe what I had to do last time when I was following a scent trail and what I was searching for. Madame Duchess. How many more naked people are we gonna- How many more naked women are we going to see because heaven forbid we see a naked man. 
exceptional true love. In the same sort of cinematic exposure. We're seeing Geralt naked a few times, I guess. Well, with his shirt off and in those ugly boxers. Like, they could, they designed such beautiful clothes that they really had to give everybody such terrible underwear? Definitely help. Don't worry. How can you be so sure? Brother dearest. Trust Oh, hi. Oh, hi, all. Sorry, only artists. Wow, your freaking allow. sleeves are huge. Come, we must consider what to do. Recognize that voice anywhere. You you must be mistaking me for someone else. I served fifteen years in the palace. Your grace, I'd not mistake you for anyone. Shh. Not so loud. We are here incognito on state business. Yes, your grace. How may I serve? Uh what? I hope we can count your discretion. Of course. Shall be silent as the grave. You are a baby face man. A big old huge baby face man. Looking for Cecilia Bellant, seen her? She's in her dressing room, where she went with a nobleman. They clearly were drawn to each other. What did the man look Odd. like? Odd. Tall, broad shouldered, a black beard peeping out from under his mask, and he spoke with a foreign accent. A drawl of sorts. That must be Interesting. Him. We must get to the dressing room quickly. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take you. No, stay here. Anyone tries to flee, you stop them. Understood. Can we Thank fit you. past Upstairs. you? I'm, I'm, it, does this guy actually have feelings for Cecilia? Is Cecilia the woman who ran away before? Like... Who, who, what is going on here? So many love affairs going on. I don't know. Pretty dress. Oh. That must be Cecilia. Oh no. That was not what I was expecting. No pulse. We're too late. I was, that was he, not what I was expecting. He slit her throat. The brute. Mm. Didn't go out the door. Guard would have noticed. Might still be somewhere here. You must find him before he harms another. I shall alert Oriana at once. She should bring her soiree to a close. No, 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 no. You Should've need to stay with up. me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out. I will be fine. Go after that rogue. I shall fetch help. No, please, because if you get kidnapped, then I'm going to be in a bind even more so. And. Oh my gosh, this is. Oh, uh... What a that was wow! Mm. I was not expecting that. Killed her, then went out on the balcony. Is this another vampire or a human? Oh, uh oh, oh, it's human. Bloody human. handprint. Mm -hmm. It's his. Oh wow! Look at he, where he put the, the door. door. Made a platform. Clever. Must be pretty strong too. Careful! If we fall off, we're doomed. Um. Okay, so he had to go. Oh. What's, is this, um, what is that? Broke the flower pot when moving the door. Ah! And stepped in the soil. The pigeons are freaking out. <laughs> mm, must have climbed this ladder. Okay, okay, now I've got tracks. Climbed the ladder. I think it would like me to examine the footprints if I can. This is so hard to Footprints do. Made by soiled boots. Climbed what ladder, Geralt? Geralt. There's no ladder here. Is this a ladder? Are you technically calling this a ladder? Geralt, we do we are not. There's no way. It's not. It's not going to happen. Oh, okay. I thought this was like a trellis with something over our heads, and I was like, what are we going to do? Could still be here. Need to stay alert. 
Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Was it? Is it? Is it? Is Smashed it? Detlef? Someone crashed into it hard and sank to the floor. With blood on their back? Nobody heard this noise and was like, oh, hey, maybe we should give it a good look. No? Okay. Oh, wow. Blood stains. Hmm. Links at a snap chain. Jewel must have been on it. Links at a snap chain. No, I'm trying to Jewel hold the jewel. On it. Precious Valuable stone. Jewel. Bloody fingerprint on it. Thief came for this. Must have. Tiny chain links next to it. From a snapped necklace? Seems there was a struggle. Jewelry box. Locks busted. Hmm. Dicked open, probably. Wait, so... Was it the guy who murdered S S what's her whatever S S not Sinatra, um, murdered the singer, and then tried to steal this, or was there somebody else in here? Because there was obviously somebody else in here for him to get thrown against a mirror. So maybe somebody else was already trying to steal it, and he threw that person against the mirror, or what? Or what? Nobody know. Oh. Sconce is bent, smeared with blood. Somebody Somebody get chucked? Somebody get chucked out the window? Blood on the window frame. Someone climb out? Fall out? Oh, I can't. Uh, because I came in the other way. Ooh. Looks valuable, but it's not what he came for. Empty inkwell, knocked over, turned toward the room. So somebody came in the door, and encountered the murderer? Uh-oh. Hunting knife, richly ornamented. Used during the fight, probably. Hmm. Jewel was in the box, it seems. Centrion tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. They fought, struggled, that's clear. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. Or they're she a vampire. Here, though. So our Centrion must have been the flyer. So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Indeed, this is him. We found the body together. Then he set off in pursuit of I don't trust this lady! And ended up here. But I've only found evidence of a fight. Seems the Centrians killed his last. Finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. I'll alert the staff. Have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything in full detail. Her face is really, really nicely rendered. Like, it looks the most realistic out of anybody's faces I've seen in this whole game. I caught him red-handed, attempting to burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? Oh, there was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. Just so. Hmm. None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? For a jewel. Because I'm a woman, in a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself, I assure you. A hairpin might look like mere ornament, but plunged into an eye, it can be as effective as a blade. Alright. So she's been trained, and most, 
well, not most, but uh, some noble women were trained, at least depending on what culture and time period you're from, to take care of themselves, especially in, like, Asia, I believe, like Japan and China and stuff. Like, a, a fan would sometimes, like, the fans they'd use to, like, you know, cover their faces were bladed at the tips. So, like, if you, at least this is what I've read before, who knows if it's actually true, but, like, you know, you could use it to defend yourself, you know, and they were quite heavy to because they're made of metal. Um, and again, hairpins, super great, super pretty ornaments, super great for poking somebody's eye out and killing them, poking them in the brain. Like, yeah, there, there were things noble women could do and were sometimes trained in in order to protect their virtue. Claim the man was trying to rob you when you walked into the room? Yes, he stood over my dressing table, pouring through my jewelry. Mm -hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it, many years ago, from a young woman. Mm-hmm. Jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. I was gonna say, it seems like, it yeah. Disappeared. That'd be a ducal thing. I didn't think I would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. If she, if Oriana knew what it was, she should have given it back to the Duchess. The heart of Toussaint. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrian must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So... So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this the only evidence we found? Also happened on the weapon he attacked Oriana with. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the lords of Duntine. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. Duntine. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. More recently, the family's last heir. Roderick returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society, preferring the company of a small team of knights. Though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. Hmm. Oriana. Everything we discussed here, hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. By anyone. <clears throat> Forgive me, Madam Oriana, but might I have a word? You must excuse me a moment. Eavesdropping Geralt. Eavesdropping Geralt. Oriana, any thoughts? Few make me feel awkward, but in her presence, I sense anxiety, discomfort. Hmm. The drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victim's names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Seems the work of our blackmailers. They were not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the Son Real and sought to steal the heart of Toussaint. Look, the wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. That somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. It... it could be something else altogether. A marriage proposal? My sister, Siana, might oh. be among the schemers. She left court when we were children. My parents banished her from the duchy. I've not seen her since. Wait, what? What did she was your a child? To get banished? Siana was cursed. Parents run afoul of some mage? 
No. She was born at an inopportune moment. They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Geralt, is it true? Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? Could what? be the case. Could oh. also be because they were treated like lepers yeah. from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Couldn't have had it easy, Sienna. The situation she, creates the problem. She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain, though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. I recall one such situation. She persuaded Cedric the Coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. We were children, and Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Sianna knew of it. She told Cedric of a dream she had had, that he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and killed his brother. She destroyed two lives with a prank. Cedric mourns to this day. In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed. More. I've missed her terribly since. Why? Think your sister might be involved? Was she nice to you Why? ever? <laughs> you see, I recall her always being rather possessive throwing jealous fits if I had something she didn't. Here, yeah, that's normal for sisters. Rivalry. True. I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The wine, its theft was the first clue. That's very much like her. Why she do you miss her? I enjoy stealing my toys, but I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Toussaint. Siana received it from father as a gift. At a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl, someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen, or recovered. It's my sister. It must be. A fallen princess wow. satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries? Hmm. Could be right. Your mission has this gained you import. You must go to Duntain. And if Siana is there, you must find her. No matter what she did, she is not to be harmed in any way, shape, or form. You must make sure of that. I'll find her if she's there. I hope you do. I very much wish to talk to her, sister to sister. Your Grace, Geralt, I'd like to introduce... Regis! What a surprise! Oh! I had no idea you were Hi! Oh, that laugh is back there! Uh, my very dear friend, Detlaf van der Eretain, an arrival from Nazaire. We are lending our combined resources to the witch's hunt. Ah, oh. uh, yes. Splendid. Oh, what? 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 Oh, Witcher, I hear you know Regis too. Even that you are friends. Few I can rely on like I can on Regis. Kinda hoping he thinks the same of me. Hi, Detlef! It seems opposites really do attract. Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt has many merits. He merely nah. hides them from the world very diligently. Mm -hmm. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. Master Witcher, maybe you could satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going to I don't to trust this woman. Monster, knowing you've only two options, to kill or be killed. Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. It might want to apologize. My word. But what might a monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice when loved ones are at risk and require protection. Same as humans. 
with them in that situation. Oh, we're timed. This is time standards. stuff. It must be why you and Regis are friends. If I understand you correctly, you would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. Enough of <laughs> the Witcher trade for now. Regis mentioned you come from Nazaire. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. Deep cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe we're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. When I help Regis, know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. We're just gonna leave. We're just. We're gonna we're just gonna leave the Duchess there with the Beast of Beauclair, no even if he does want to. Don't you think? <laughs> a Witcher and the Duchess of Toussaint? My my. Regis. No Regis. Wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? Geralt, uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are gonna watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detloff believes you'll succeed in your task. And he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renner. Oriana, is she really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago, before I met you, and before she settled in Beauclair. We'd not seen one another in. Uh, oh, is she a vampire? How long? But I shall tell you all about her some other day. She's got to be a vampire. Guessing it's no accident you two stopped by. It would be quite some coincidence indeed. No, a dutiful little bird told us. A natural mm. bird? Now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntime Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess expects we'll find her long-lost sister there, too. Thing is, she might be involved. Could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Mean oh, to yeah. say we can't breathe a word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Geralt, you must trust me. I've got a way with... No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Dedloff here while I go to Duntine. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Detlaf. Good luck, my friend. I'm gonna need it. Splendidly, Detlaf. Ah, oh, I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back. It took you long enough. Contrary to what common folk believe, choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis, gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your grace, always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out? So many machinations going on. You have exceptional friends. This Detlaf, an intriguing man to say the least. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much, but I have a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive. Sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost. Which is why he comes across as grim. Hmm. Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither no, no. I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain you know what you are to do. Mm-hmm. Gotta go to Duntine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Count Lacroix's mill. It stands along the San Retour River, near the Cockatrice Inn. Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. What? 
We're gonna storm it. We're not gonna infiltrate it. We're gonna storm it. Cool beans! Cool beans! I did notice that mural on the way in. It's quite nice. Can I get out of these clothes now, please? Woo! Siana. Oh my gosh, Detlef's everything's been upgraded. Everybody's is upgraded. Oriana. Wow, wow, we were leveling up fast. All right, well, I am gonna call this one here. That was a lot. That was a whole lot of. I was not expecting things to happen. Like, that was just really cool. The man from Cinder. He didn't get to see what he looked like. I'm sad. Capture the castle, okay, it's gonna be fine. But yeah, wow, that was so cool, I love this game, it's so good. But yes, thank you guys for joining me once again, and I will see you in the next one.